Hello everyone, it is I, Reversal, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. It's been a little while since I've done one of these because while well, I've been traveling to Pokemon Go Fest, and it was a really absolute pleasure to be there. We got a shop here, by the way. I'm gonna be talking about a brand new feature being added to Pokemon Go. It is called Lucky Pokemon, and it's an amazing feature. I really like the way they've done it. But some people are actually maybe a little bit confused about how it exactly works and what its functionality is and how it's gonna help you. So I'm gonna alleviate some of these questions and maybe frustration in this video. Uh, I'm gonna talk all about you need to know uh, in regards to the lucky Pokemon feature in Pokemon Go. But before we jump in, I have a couple of things I wanna be talking about. So if you're not interested in this, uh, skip to this time on screen as we're gonna jump into the lucky Pokemon feature and everything I have to say in regards to that. And I also wanna talk to Niantic and offer some feedback uh, about Pokemon Go a little bit as well later. But first things first, during live streams, you guys are honestly always going above and beyond with the support, especially on a financial level. A lot of you guys donate massive amounts from time to time. And honestly, at the same time, I, I never really felt that I could give back. Uh, and it's kind of a, a bad feeling in, in a way as well, but also really good because it makes my work also feel very meaningful to especially those who go even a step further by donating. I have now got merch. Uh, there will always be the information in the description down below to the merch store. But I'm here to let you know we got an Oh My Days shirt. Uh, a quote that we very often say on the, onto the channel. And uh, yeah, I really think it turned out great. Definitely take a look. Uh, there's a link in the description uh, down below. And in the future, there's actually more items coming as well. We're working on some pins. So little tiny pins you can attach to your hat, to your backpack, to your jacket. Uh, or just keep them because you like collecting pins. So that's going to be a thing with my reversal logo, which is shown on screen right now. Uh, we're working on some pop sockets for your phone. Or uh, some snapbacks, some hats that I'm always wearing anyway. So I'm going to have to wear reversal hats in the nearby future. And you guys might be going like, ah, that looks pretty cool. I'm always trying to make these merchandise items look cool, so that way, you know, even if you're wearing them on the street, it doesn't look like it's some sort of a fan type thing. So, you know, I'm always trying to work to make this look as cool as possible uh, as well, outside of just, you know, you enjoying my content. So that being said, I'm also working on daily content. It's, it's gonna be a tough task, but I actually have everything planned out very nicely. Um, the, the aim is gonna be one video per day and potentially a day skip. Not really sure how that's gonna be going down. Potentially the Monday will be skipped, but I'm trying to get at least six videos per week ready for Pokemon Go. So that's really exciting. And also I'm offering you guys to, uh, to give me feedback or to, uh, and if, if you're like missing something onto the channel, like, hey, Reversal, you really need to cover this particular topic. Um, this is something I'm missing. I would like to see the tutorial on something like this or any video suggestions, mail me. WriteReversal at gmail.com is gonna be the designated mail address where you can offer your suggestions to in regards of, uh, of what type of video you'd like me to make. I imagine a lot of you guys are gonna be mailing like, hey, Reversal, what's up, how's your day been? Please add my friend code. I'm gonna ignore all of those mails because, you know, I'm, I'm just having to mail up for the core reason of, of accepting your suggestions. So uh, definitely mail me down there if you have any sort of suggestion in regards to Pokemon Go content. That's what the mail is for. I'm gonna be doing a charity live stream. I nearly don't do enough charity things onto the channel and I really wanna do a charity stream. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the charity stream and the details at the end of this video. So um, definitely keep an eye out for that because it's for a really amazing cause. And then uh, also I have a PO box. Uh, I, I don't really mention it a whole lot but, because I assume you guys know, but actually you guys, don't really know because at the Pokemon Go Fest, a lot of you guys are like, oh, Reversal, do you even have like a P.O. box? So, yes, I do have a P.O. box. It is in the description down below. It's also on screen if you want to send me anything. If I get like four or five items or something like that, whether it be letters, I'll actually do a video uh, on the stuff that you guys have given me uh, or, or write about or anything like that. So, definitely going to be happening. That being said, let's go ahead and talk about the new Lucky feature being introduced in Pokemon Go. So, take a look at this. This is my very first lucky Pokemon. The Ash Hat Pikachu with the amazing backdrop. All the lucky Pokemon will have this really cool looking backdrop. As you guys can see this Eevee. Um, we got this Apon, which is also a lucky Pokemon. 
I actually do have quite a few lucky Pokemon. You can actually see them. They're indicated by the little bubbles you see around the Pokemon sprites. They look awesome and, and I love the way they look. Now, the way you get yourself a lucky Pokemon is by trading a Pokemon that's generally older. Uh, a Pokemon that you have for a very long time. Like for instance, this Pikachu that I traded with my good friend Martin is actually from the 25th of... Um, of uh, the 22nd of uh, July 2017 last year so this Pokemon is a year old it has an increased chance of becoming a lucky Pokemon and, and the cool thing about lucky Pokemon is that they reduce the Stardust cost of powering up by half so that's very helpful it's, it's essentially just something that will help you a power up Pokemon faster in the long run. I've actually been conducting quite a few trades today. I think I've done about a hundred trades today. Essentially what we discovered is that for the more recent Pokemon that you caught, like let's say today, uh, about one in every 15 Pokemon you trade from the Pokemon you caught on the very same day uh, are gonna turn out to be a lucky Pokemon. So there's definitely some chances with recent Pokemon you catch like today that they will end up being a lucky Pokemon. Um, but one of the concerns people are having is, hey, if, if I get myself a lucky Pokemon, then the IVs are pretty much always bad. And why does that happen? Why should I, you know, trade these Pokemon if they actually, you know, turn out to be bad? The lucky Pokemon in Pokemon Go are actually considered more of a long-term feature. It is not something you just do right now today. Uh, you actually want to make sure that you are on, like, ultra or best friend level with your friends uh, when you initiate these trades. Because then the IVs is going to be higher by default and they're going to be on the level of, like, egg hatches or raid bosses so that's how you want to be increasing these ivs you don't want to be doing a trade and hope for lucky pokemon with like a good friend level uh person because then the ivs nine out of ten times is just going to be absolutely terrible and if, if the ivs are terrible you're not going to be powering up the pokemon anyway i could honestly show you guys like a lot of gameplays about a lot of trades that i've been doing but it's just a trade like we know that trading exists in Pokemon Go, we know what it looks like, it's just a trade and then there's a chance of you getting a lucky Pokemon. So essentially just a long term feature, do it when you're at ultra friend, best friend level for the best chances. Of course, if you're good friends and you exchange the Pokemon, if you trade the Pokemon, yeah, sure, there's a chance that it might turn out to be 100% IV Pokemon, but it's not very likely. So make sure you keep that in mind. And honestly, the, the only benefit is sure, it looks cool, the backdrop is cool, the Pokedex entry, which we'll take a look at in a second because I haven't seen it myself, also looks pretty cool. But the only, only benefit is just seriously the starter. So yeah, if a Pokemon is like 60% IV, you're most likely not going to be powering it up anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Pokedex entry of, let's say, Pikachu. Because I do, have the, uh, I do have the version right here. And as you can see, this is a regular one, Arbok. And then if you have the lucky one, it actually changes the backdrop completely of these Pokemon as you can see because I haven't you know evolved this Pikachu into Raichu yet I don't get to see that same backdrop which is uh, pretty interesting so maybe try to get all lucky Pokemon it's gonna be quite a challenge really to get all the Pokemon lucky but uh, that's where maybe my next suggestion comes in as well oh yeah for the record before we move on uh, I just want to let you guys know that the, uh, the the limit on the amount of lucky Pokemon you can get in one day I believe is 10 so maybe Make sure you keep an eye out for that if you've been trading after 10 lucky trades then you might not be getting yourself another lucky pokemon we're currently not exactly sure of the thresholds of the amount of time you need to have a pokemon in order to increase the chance so i'm pretty sure that the silk road and pokemon go hub are conducting their research with their teams right now to kind of figure out exactly how many days you need to have the pokemon in order to have an increased chance so uh, make sure to be on the lookout for that as i'll be reporting on that very very soon so considering the fact that we know for a fact that you need to save a Pokemon for a longer period of time in order to get yourself a higher chance of getting a lucky Pokemon. Obviously, everybody wants to be aiming to get themselves that lucky Pokemon. So what I obviously suggest you should do is any single Pokemon, regardless of the IV, if it's a shiny Pokemon from Community Day or a Pokemon with a special moveset, save all of these Pokemon up as much as you can and then trade them with your best friends or ultra friends 
uh, whenever the time is there. Make sure you do keep in mind though that the Stardust cost is going to be hurting quite a bit for a shiny Pokemon. So this really goes to show that Niantic is really starting to focus on the social aspect of Pokemon Go as they want you to get more social and get best friends with a lot of people. So that way your Stardust is going to decrease. But with that thought in mind, I, I do want to offer some feedback to Niantic, potentially. Uh, I came up with an idea called the Trade Box, and the, the way it works should be pretty simple, it should be straight, pretty straightforward. There should be a box which is just designed to help you trade easier. And essentially the way it would work is just like how you would favor the Pokemon or transfer a Pokemon. There should be an option sent to Trade Box which will bring the Pokemon there, it will have a little icon on screen like, hey, it's in your trade box. It wouldn't disappear or anything like that from your uh, screen right here. But if you're initiating a trade, you should have a tab at the bottom, just like the party one right here and Ag. There should be one for the trade box, in which all the Pokemon that you selected as a trade Pokemon for the trade box appear right there. So that way you can quickly find the Pokemon you need that you want to be trading. Because I don't know about you, but for me, to call every single Pokemon trade or give them a specific nickname uh, takes time and, and also scrolling through all the Pokemon that you have also takes time. So I really feel if we do have a trade box, it's going to cut into trading time significantly and it, it would really help a lot of players out. On top of that, it is imminent that in the nearby future, we're going to get even more storage. So supposedly, if you're going to have to scroll through 2000 Pokemon, is even going to take more time. But considering the fact that, you know, you want to be saving all these Pokemon, so that way you're going to be trading them later down the road with your best friends, you're going to be hoarding and stocking up on these Pokemon, we do need more storage upgrades. So I, that's why I figured like a trade box would be the perfect addition uh, to the game. Also, Niantic, if you're watching this, please, whatever you do before EV Community Day, just give us the storage increase, man. Like it's 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 been teased on the official Pokemon site, I don't see why it isn't in the game. Like, people are literally ready to throw money at you to allow for us to upgrade our backspace storage. And, and even with that, I, I would honestly consider, like, giving us the limit to 2,500, giving us 1,000 extra space for those who really want to be saving up all these Pokemon. Regardless of that, though, if you're fine with your current uh, storage space, then, you know, what I just said isn't for you. Uh, but, yeah, I, I know for a fact that there's quite a few people who do want to get themselves more storage for reasons like these to you know trade lucky pokemon with people especially whenever community day is coming up i want to show you guys this i finally got my pilot badge it's actually really easy to obtain i uh, actually i'm going to be opening up the comment section once again if you want to be making friends then make sure you uh, mention what country you're for from because that way, if someone accepts you it's from really far away, like let's say uh, someone from Australia, it's like, hey, you know, I want to be accepting some people and you live in like Europe. The distance of a trade is going to be like 16 or 15,000 kilometers if you got an Alolan egg. And the thing is, with these Alolan Pokemon, they're going to have the geotag location of the uh, location where the egg was being sent from, from that particular gift. So in that way, you'll be able to get yourself the golden badge really, really quickly if you make these trades happen. And it's really cool to get that distance on your badge. Uh, the one that's going to take a long time, though, is Gentleman. Because, well, I mean, a thousand trades, that's pretty boring to do, to be completely honest, watching the animation every single time. And that's even also a reason why we need the trade box, because that's going to be reducing the waiting time to select Pokemon once again. I'm also so happy that right now we got a nickname feature for everybody, so that way I can prioritize some people. And also, uh, maybe another thing which would be cool is if you sort by friendship level, and then you type on gift, that it would uh, sort on friendship level of the people who haven't, who've already sent you a gift. But just in general, I, I, I still think that the actual friend feature is not completely fleshed out yet. We still very much need a search feature. And also the, the thing is with accepting gifts, bumping you to the top is, is quite annoying. Uh, now I do know if you do send out gifts to people, like like this for instance, if, if you accept a gift, like let's say from Fubar, you can by the way skip this animation. If you press on open and you press on the X, 
it, it just skips the animation and then in your journal you can actually see what you've gotten but it bumps you back to the top which is quite annoying so i hope that gets fixed very very soon so that is the new feature in pokemon go lucky pokemon and then the update of course as well and then the trade box which i suggested which i honestly feel should be a thing in pokemon go and of course the upgraded storage which we still don't have for whatever reason i want to talk about the charity live stream that i'm going to be doing in the nearby future i haven't figured out the date yet but i do want to talk about exactly what is in the planning for that it is not going to be a pokemon go live stream instead it's going to be uh for a game which a friend of mine has actually designed or made he's been the main developer for that game he's actually a, a pretty close friend of mine his name is latch from berserk studio and he has made the game called just shapes and beats it's a really cool rhythm game and in, during that live stream every single time that i'm gonna be dying i'm gonna be donating ten dollars to the charity and the charity we're gonna be streaming for is a little sick baby called augustine augustine is suffering from a very rare disease it's a very nasty disease and he needs some help so that's why there's a gofundme open there's a bunch of streamers who've already streamed for this cause and i want to contribute there's only like four thousand dollars remaining for this cause and i really want to try to push that with the stream that we're going to be doing i'm going to leave everything in the description down below in regards to the gofundme um if you open up the gofundme it is in french initially um but then at the bottom there's a whole text with english so uh make sure you read up on that because well i never even knew that that particular disease existed and um yeah i just honestly that a child is going through that is absolutely awful so let's make a change happen let's go ahead and try to make augustine a better baby so yeah more information on that very soon i'm gonna be announcing it on twitter or some video or something like that in one of the next videos i'll have uh, an announcement date for exactly when this uh, charity live stream is going to be going down it's going to be somewhere like this week maybe next week not exactly sure gonna have to figure it out uh, when it's gonna be going down but until then i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching hope that you guys enjoyed this pokemon go episode i'll be back again tomorrow with a pokemon go fest video for a change because i've been working on those videos and it's finally time to start releasing those videos so that in mind i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you go out and subscribe to the channel a like would really be appreciated as well and make sure you leave a comment talking about this episode uh and what you think about the feature and what you think about the merch maybe I, I would really like to hear your feedback and your opinions as well that in mind just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and this is reverse for pokemon go i'm gonna be signing off and i'll see you guys in the next one